My name is Thaddeus Walker, and years ago I made this. It's a uh, modular origami, and I guess you can probably find this little pattern that makes these, but uh, I think you usually make cubes out of them, and you can see something like cubes in this. There are 210 modular origami pieces that take to make this. Um, the cube is very stable, holds together really well. This particular pattern does not. On the inside, I don't know if I can show you the inside. I guess I can. On the, this, these little uh, places there, I, I did place a drop of glue to help uh, keep it stable. But uh, the thing I'm interested in mainly is the shape. It, it seems like a, it's an awfully neat sphere. Um, the inside rings are obviously going to uh, uh, the insides of the rings are going to be a mathematically possible shape. Um, now, if I were to actually assume that you know, these are based on the cube and you, you stick those together, um, and you could think of them as um, tetrahedron stacking together, uh, the first question I ask myself whenever I made this is, uh, is does the arc come together and join up again? mathematically perfectly. Is this model just slightly twisted to, to fit or does it actually do that? don't think it does. Um, there are about uh, seven repeating sections and there's exactly seven, seven repeating sections like this around the ring. And uh, I believe it comes out to somewhere between six and seven. I don't, you know, it it's, seems like a number that's also close to tau. I, I didn't exactly figure it out. I'm not, I don't have the work I did earlier on that, but I think I satisfied myself to say that it is slightly stretched in some way. But I think there are some interesting features about this. Um, uh, I was thinking for a few moments about chemistry. You know, there's lots of tetrahedrons and organic chemistry, but generally speaking, I believe those tetrahedrons are um, out of alignment with this. Uh, this would be the alignment that uh, those organic chains would uh, try to avoid. So I don't think that's what I'm talking about or something you see too often in organic chemistry. Um, you, can, you can probably make something else more complicated into this shape. Different molecules maybe, I don't know. One thing that I think is really cool is um, this tiling that comes together and takes six of them to cover a cube. Um, I uh, tend to think of this as a series, 
that uh, it extends through the square, and then uh, you would uh, take a yeah a dodecahedron. That that'd be it, which has twice as many faces. And you just kind of stick uh, two of those faces together, and it would do something similar. Uh, here is a different version. Let's see. Head on. It's uh, not the same. But you can take these individual tiles and stick them around, and I believe there are seven combinations of these faces that you can stick together and use this same idea and fit them in a cube and from a sphere. So again, There's the same tile. And uh, I think that's kind of interesting. Anyway, this to me seems to connect a, a series of tilings that goes through um, uh, putting a cube on a sphere, uh, putting a uh, dodecahedron on a sphere and attaching uh, two tiles together. And this would be the next extension. And uh, I believe that uh, you can do it following this example of uh, taking a, a zigzag. This, this is this is easier taking a, that zigzag um, I guess that would be uh, 30, 360 and 20 degrees at that particular point um, if you were to uh, extend that series and on to finish infinity where you get kind of a beach ball six slice type thing from one pole to the other. Um, that would be a series of tilings. I'm not sure I've, I've, I've looked at tilings. I don't think I've seen that before. Um, I have looked and looked and looked to find a match or something similar to this particular thing, and it's just time for me to share this with the world. So, this is my little discovery. I haven't seen this in modular origami, I haven't seen this shape anywhere else. Um, it's probably, uh, if my Figuring was correct. It's not going to be something that uh, is going to be happened upon by um, uh, precise means, because I don't think that this uh, ring actually works by putting together tetrahedrons. Not sure if there's a way to. It's probably been explored. Directly, just looking for fun by people, and that's probably why it's not out there. But uh, it's this is a close approximation to that, and maybe useful for some things. I don't know. It's not doing me any good. I can tell you that. But stick it out there, and maybe someone in the world will. Find a purpose for it. It kind of looks to me like a brain. And 
I don't know, maybe this is something that uh, stoners could enjoy. Just the awesomeness of it, just sit back and say, wow. But uh, I'll tell you right now, um, there's another, another bonus for stoners. There are 420 tabs. that I stuck together to make this. 210 pieces but 420 tabs. So I don't know don't know what everybody will use it for. But it's not doing me good all alone, so I'll just stick it out there for everyone else to enjoy, to use. If you want to pay me some royalties, that's fine, but I don't think I've uh, bothered to patent this or anything. So, um, My name's Thaddeus Walker. If you want to identify the ball, I was thinking about chemically constructing this, and um, you're not going to get uh, just chains of carbon hydrogen on to get into this shape. But if we could imagine each one of these points is hydrogen, and maybe this joining is uh, an oxygen there to anchor everything down. Uh, we see um, three rings, but uh, perhaps there are more. So if we take it from here through here, there, 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 there. We have a ring, and we would have three rings coming around the other direction. So there would be six rings, kind of doing this thing. Again, where we don't exactly meet. The spiral edition. Has a few more points of radial symmetry than the other one. And uh, there's this one, and it's chiral opposite. There's this one, and if you were to spin this, uh, spin the top part independent of the bottom part. Those are the combinations. So, well, I thought about it a bit, and I don't have any particular use for it. I'm thinking it's maybe useful to someone else. See what your imagination does. Thank you for watching my video.